I'm back with Cheeky Jumbo Plate 10. This is the last plate in their numeric series, or at least the last plate so far. Um, this plate is a little different from the other plate in that it doesn't have a theme necessarily. It's called Happy Nails, and it's all overall images instead of having some at the, you know, the top third being isolated images and then the bottom two thirds being overall nail images. Um, so and and all of the the all of these are overall images and they all have different kinds of themes and some go with the previous plates and some are just their own kind of thing like this one we're looking at here so there's a lot of different kinds of stuff here and you know, i'm a big overall image plate kind of fan so i really like this and i like the diversity um on this plate too so let's get started. This kind of reminds me of, you know, that radiation symbol? Kind of reminds me of like a fancy flourishy radiation symbol. And I love this for flowers or teardrops or just swirls. Um, this reminds me of kind of like a, um, a sort of a Celtic knot kind of look, but but different. And um, another, you know, how cool would it be to paint, like stamp this and then paint planets in the middle of those, like their planet rings or something? That could be fun. Uh, a little different. Normally you see kind of um, the same background shape here, but then with those star things in the middle, you don't necessarily see that. I love this, like the uh, the women on um, on caution signs or on the um, you know female bathroom door signs. Very cute. Uh, this is such a pretty flower design. I love that. And you know, in the past, I might have been a little frustrated, like, well, but you have to, you know, what do you do with this in terms of um, you know, I'd want the middle to be a different color and I'd want the lead, you know, now with that, the stamping decal technique, I would stamp this in something like silver, um, or white maybe, but I think silver or gold and then, um, and then color it in with different back, with different colors behind it and turn it into a decal. I think that would be beautiful. Uh, how pretty is this with all of the different, with the, with the squares but turned as diamonds and like they're on sticks or something. I just love that. It's almost like it's a flower garden of, of um, diamond flowers instead of regular flowers. Very fun. I don't know, circles and all kinds of different shapes, but you can, you can see circles, you can see diamonds depending on how you look at the design. So you can do a lot of fun stuff with that, I think. Um, a sort of basic, this, this one reminds me of like a 70s kind of flower background print very geometric. I like this with just the little small like sprinkle of flowers. I think you can do a lot of fun stuff with that. It almost looks like lace. Um, different fun circles with uh, circles within circles and then the next one is the same. I think you can do a lot of um, kind of futuristic kind of designs like this or retro 60s sort of um, Jetsons kind of designs with those things and um, pretty flowers and and, uh, and vines, um, some some chevron stripes for you, little even some more like little sprinkles of flowers. You can do delicate things. One of the things that you could do with this is um, that I want to do with it is you could stamp it and then just pick one of the flowers and put little dried flowers over it as a little accent. Um, squares and diamonds or squares slash diamonds. Um, great plaid. I love this bird. I love the style of bird, so much fun, so cute. Uh, diamond square pattern, and then here's our male um, bathroom sign guy that matches our female bathroom sign guy. Um, X's and O's and um, geometric fun squares. I love, you, you know me, I love my squares. I like geometrics, but not all geometrics. And here we go, a double helix, um, very sciencey. So you could do some fun science kinds of that could go with the, um, there's a beaker on one of, on the, I think it's the top of the class one. How fun would that be? Um, more squares into diamonds, background designs. Uh, love these arrows. There's another one on one of the other plates that's similar but different. Um, this reminds me of little, um, like little mi magnifying glasses. And then another... A flower, a fun flower, but then with a uh, little different accents, swirls and things in there. Um, this has, uh, it's not quite kind of a tribal feel to it, but it's, um, it's a little bit different than maybe southwestern kind of feel to it. Not sure. 
Um, square paper clips is what I think of when I see that, and I think you can do some fun stuff with that. Here we have some um, pretzels and mugs of liquidy drinks. Whatever would go with pretzels, I'm not sure, but I'm sure you, you people out there could do something cool with it. You guys have great ideas, um, way better than the stuff I come up with. Another geometric print. This could be fun to do with that decal technique too, coloring in some of the shapes and having them overlap with others. I'm going to do something with that because now it's got my creative juices going. Kind of thorny branches. Um, this goes great. I, I, you could do fun things with barbed wires or ravens. And um, and then there's a similar one that's similar to this that's a tentacle on a, a different one of the plates. This one is the reverse of it. So at the top of the tentacles, you have the big open um, open circles and rather and, and, and the tentacles end. So I've used this in my Don't Panic Manicure. I use the other one, the other version of this. So this um, looks the same, but it's not. It offsets it. So you could combine them and do fun things that way. Um, I love paisleys. I think this is a fun paisley. Another great one to color in. Um, a different uh, square diamond kind of a look. This is so much fun. The interlocking um, squares on this one. And then... Uh, I did, I have a similar image to this on a different plate, and um, it always makes me think of M.C. Escher, and I did an M.C. Escher uh, manicure with that. Another background geometric design, some more circles, a flower one here. This is really pretty. This, I think, would make a really great background design to then stamp something else over. You know, do this in a color that's similar to your background, to, to the color, your base color on your manicure, and then um, stamp something else over it in a contrasting color. Um, basic, uh, fun flowers. Oh, and again, if you saw my other... Um, videos you probably have already heard me talk about this but this is residue that is left by uh, from the um, from the backing the blue backing that comes on this to protect it this comes off just with a swipe of acetone but I've left it on to remind me to tell you that if you do get that when you remove your backing don't worry about it just take a little acetone to it and it'll come right off um, no problem at all uh, horseshoes I love these hearts. It's kind of um, reminiscent of a water marble design, but then with the heart shape. This makes me think of holly leaves for some reason. I don't know why. Um, diamonds and stars. You're a rock star, baby. Another geometric background, and I love this circle within the big circles within the big circle, and then other circles. Um, I, that reminds me of um, Peggle. Some of the designs on Peggle. Okay, yes, I'm weird. I admit it. Again, Happy Nails and Jumbo Plate 10, and I will do my test, and I'll come back and show it to you. Okay. Okay, I'm back with Cheeky Jumbo Plate 10 with my stamping test. Let's get right into it. Here are the little ladies from, that always, it looks like the ladies room door symbol to me. Um, I smudged this a little bit. You can see how kind of as I went over, it got a little bit faded, um, but stamps well. Here are the little flowers. I just love, this is such a delicate pattern. I love it. Um, stamped really well. Uh, double helixes for those scientists among us or people who just think it's a cool pattern. Uh, people that have kids that are doing science fair stuff, whatever it is you want to use that for. And then um, a really big test, I think, in my mind. Um, and again, for some reason, whenever I'm doing my pinky, I just seem to forget and do it upside down. Um, but you can see that it is the same design. But look at how beautifully the, those lines come out, those solid lines. Just solid, bold, um, not like half there, half not there. So, just beautiful. Um, this is all full-size nail designs, as I already mentioned. And again, in comparison with Conad, the Conad um, images are a little bit uh, shorter. And they're also a little bit, you can see, here we go this way. You can see they're a little bit um, more narrow. Not too much, but um, that can make a big difference on your nails. And if you already have some of the cheeky jumbo plates from their alphabet series, these are the same size as those. If you want more information about the um, the the images in comparison to other kinds of um, 
other kinds of nail plate images, you can look at the comparison post on my blog. Um, okay, so this is the last uh, of the plates in the series. Overall, I really love this series. I like the way that they have different themes, but there's still cohesion even between the different plates. I like that they do a wide variety of different kinds of things, some really elegant, some really cute, and I love that all of the plates stamp really well with um, very few exceptions. I had absolutely no problem stamping, and in the case where I did have a problem stamping, it was only um, just because there were very fine lines and I worked a little bit too slowly, but as soon as I hurried myself up a little bit, it worked fine. So um, I can definitely recommend the series, all these plates, and um, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.